was satisfying. That was like crunchy. <laughs> I'm going to do the clap anyways, just to make sure that it was loud enough. Okay. That was, that was pretty spot that was on. perfect. Na, 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 Welcome, na, na, everybody. Na, 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 na. Welcome back to the show. Today is just the Jake and Walker show. I know. It feels so weird. We haven't done this in uh, ages. I, I I can't remember the last time it was just the Jake and Walker show. I think it was it was like one of the first times I was on the show. It was like a long time ago. Yeah, it was ago. like episode like 30 or something yeah, like that. It was shit. in the 30s probably. Isn't weird we've been doing this for so long? We're at 92 today is episode. Holy that's shit. the episode number today. Is it though? I thought 92 was like seven weeks ago. <laughs> I hope not. We cannot be that close to episode 100 yet. Holy shit. Um, we are close to 100 though. Oh, my bad. No, you're good. I just want to make sure we're spot on there. Um, drinking some beers today with the boys, even though it's just with two of us. With the boys. Um but yeah, no, it's it's 92 episodes we've done this for. That's so so almost two years now. I love doing this. It's so I've fun. been doing this podcast maybe longer, if not, no, as long, just about as long as I've been at the brewery. Yeah, I think cause we both started around the same time. Yeah, we started when yeah. they opened, and That's that perfect. would have been like May, and we started actually. So it's we started this before I started there because technically yeah, you May would have been the opening of the brewery and, and April is when we started the podcast. The and, last and, week and of you April. And Drake were doing that first beforehand. So yep. yeah. Wow. That's because we were working at that other place first. And yeah. Then, yeah. Holy shit. That's been a long time. Wow. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Lots What's changed up? in that time. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. My forehead got bigger. My <laughs> butt got bigger. Mm, yeah, it did. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I hate it. Um, no, I'm just playing. So, anyways, happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. Yeah, happy Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. Um, we get that's the all day we're going to talk about that. Today. <laughs> <laughs> not, not bringing up anything else. That's it. We don't do politics on the show. We don't nope. do anything else. Um, so, w- w- we were looking over last week because neither of us could remember what our skills were for last week. And so, I was watching the episode back over and mm-hmm. realized that we didn't we do didn't skills. Do we, yeah. didn't, we just totally, I think we talked about the skills that we did last week, yeah. but then, or two weeks ago, but then we started doing the hot sauce challenge. I blame Keith, man. Yeah, Keith, just threw it's us fucking off. Keith's fault. You know, he just was the, <laughs> the, the, the odd man out he's there. He's so great. I love that guy. I know, he's awesome. And he'll be on the show more regularly, which That's is good. nice too. So we may have to add his face to the logo. That logo is going to get real scrunched <laughs> yeah, over time. It's going to have like a tiny, like <laughs> every face is going to be like a pixel wide. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's always fun when he's on the show. It's, yeah. I mean, we're good. We all work well together. Um, but with that being said, mm-hmm. we should probably do skills for this week, I guess. Huh? Yeah. yeah we probably Even though should, it's just two so. of us, we should probably... Just do just it. Just do just something. Just do it. So you got anything planned out? You got any skills that you want to complete this week? Any yeah, challenges yeah, yeah. or anything? I wanted to create something this week. I think I, I might actually build a, pi- a piece of furniture this week. I wanted to get you're into woodworking. Build a piece I'm of furniture? Build a piece of furniture, yeah. Like from scratch, like you're going to cut down the tree? Yeah, it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow a tree. Grow a tree. Okay. Cut it down. Cut it down. Dry it. Yes. Sand it. Yes. Process it. Yes. Turn it into a coffee table by wow. this week. So End of the week, huh? Yeah. I, that's, I think that's, that's <laughs> easily obtainable. I have some really potent fertilizer that just sprouts it up and you'll be good to go. Is it, is it your feces? Yeah. It's, I, I'm just I, shitting I all over the feces. No, okay. I just want to make no, sure I, that that's uh, what it was. No, I actually do want to try building like a coffee table this week. So I'm, what I'm doing right now is that I'm trying to prep for purchasing a house in the near future. Same. So, yeah. And it's, Same. it's a huge pain in the ass. I know. It's just... It it's sucks. Exciting. I actually uh, I was looking at some houses, and then every single time that I was interested in the place, it'd be sold in like ten seconds. That's how it so happens. It's like, fudge, fudge. <laughs> but he didn't say fudge. No, I. Uh, so I. <laughs> nice movie. Reference. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to pretty much get everything ready to move into a house. Yeah. So like I'm trying to like get new furniture and like new TVs, and I already have my office stuff ready to go. Right. But I am prepping everything except for the actual house itself. And then from that point on, when I'm ready to buy a house, I can just Move say yes, in. and then all my shit's ready. Yeah, good to go. So I think I'm going to start building a lot of my own stuff. Uh, I thought about uh, going to my friend's woodworking shop yep. and uh, building out some co- some uh, countertops and stuff like that in the near future. Nice, so there you go. I want to build some, some butcher block stuff. But right Sick. now I'm trying to build coffee tables and... And tables and all that kind of cool Heck shit. Yeah, so some woodworking. This yeah, week. all right. I that like it. Good. I like to hear it. I so, like to hear it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. For me, I don't know. I, I was deciding. Do I go like more per- personal skill or like business skill? Um, I kind of want to. You know what? I, I'm gonna do it. So I was gonna do this this week, anyways. I want to mess around. I've started using After Effects more lately. <laughs> yeah, which I've gotten more comfortable with. Um, definitely not like. I'm not even at intermediate level on there yet. Like oh, I'm dude, still it easily so beginner. Like it's so After Effects is, uh, it's a, it's not even a video editing. It's a animation rendering. It's kind more. It's, it's kind of a. It's video. It's kind of a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so pretty it's, much 
it is a very powerful tool that mm. is used quite a bit nowadays for high-end um, video work. Yeah. Would you call it like keyframe processing app? Yeah, yeah, I, that's yeah, I would say, it. yeah, it's, I mean, I, I, well, it's the same thing as Cinema 4D, so, I mean, it's more of an animation, I would say, right? Not the same, but it's like, it, it takes the stills from Cinema 4D right. and, and can process and it. process so. it, yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyways, it's an app that is widely used in the video world nowadays and in many other aspects, mm -hmm. but it's very powerful, and I've started messing around and making, like, logo reveals and everything, yeah. so I'm thinking maybe... I come up with a couple ideas for logo reveals Ooh. for the podcast for like intros. That'd be dope. And then let you guys vote on which one you think should be our new intro. That'd be so cool. it'll, I'll, I'll still keep like, you know, I'll keep certain assets. Like we have mm. to keep the music. Obviously. Right, Everybody right, right. knows the song by now. Everybody <laughs> knows us and knows us by that song. That's our, that's our tagline. <laughs> so yeah, I'll keep belligerent that. Belligerent shouting. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> so I'll keep that, but maybe I'll come up with like three different intro like logo ideas. designs okay. and see and let the people vote. Uh, you should borrow my iPad and try out Procreate. Uh, if for those of you, that, for those of you, I can't even speak. For those of you that do like graphic design, you probably used Procreate before, but it's like a drawing app, but it actually has an animation assistant on it. So you can actually draw little frames and go to the next frame and like draw over it and that kind of stuff. And it helps out with the animation process. It would be nice, but also like I'm just trying to focus on work, learning After Effects. Yeah, no, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I need to be more but comfortable the, with The After point Effects. of that is, is that you can actually export that into, into After, After Effects. Effects yeah. So it's super nice. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm gonna let all of you guys. I'll let you guys vote, and mm -hmm. I'll let them vote. I'll let the people vote and see what they let like. The people vote. Yeah, I know you guys don't like change because when we first tried to change our uh, logo animation or something like, or our logo. Oh yeah. Everyone. We got some hated, heat for that. Hated it. Really? I well, didn't because know that. people liked our faces as the logo. They oh, loved it. Okay. And so when I tried to change it over to something different that was more just like broad spectrum, we got heat. They, oh, we got heat for it. They're like, no. We want your faces on the logo. So Thanks, like, okay, guys. I'm cool. flattered. So then we just you're wrong. <laughs> threw your face on there, and we're like, fuck it. Here's the new logo. See, I, I, I'm afraid that if we brought that back where our faces were the main logo, people would be terrified of my face. <laughs> it's there. That's our logo. That's our only logo that we use now yep. is our faces. Hmm. I mean, it's it's great brand awareness. Oh, yeah. People it's fantastic. see us and go, we know that that was... We know. We know what you do. We know what you want. We know what you do we on Mondays, you, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, um, oh, that's what, that'll be my skill for the week. I like that. That'll be a fun one. Sweet. Try it out. Oh, um, man. So should we get into the nitty gritty of this week? Yeah. Or? So the nitty gritties. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. So, uh, oh, I forgot to look at the analytics today. Damn it. I was going to do that. I wanted to look at the analytics of our videos. The uh, analytics? The anti anal, le anal leakage. I wanted to look <laughs> at the anal leakage today. Um, so for some reason... Fuck you, YouTube. I love you, but like, okay. Why is your algorithm so messed up? So last week's episode, no, two weeks ago's episode, right? 400 views. Yeah. Fucking skyrocketed above any of our other videos for some reason. Mm. This week's video, 68 views. One of our lowest viewed what ones the fuck? in a long time. I used the same tags. The same huh. keywords. Maybe it, maybe it's basing itself off of like current news things. Like I don't know. Hot like, terms or something. It has to be. Like the only thing that was really different, obviously, was like the description yeah. and the title. But maybe, I used the same tags that I used in that video, hoping that it would catch on. It didn't. You know what it probably is? Uh, so YouTube is owned by Google. So they probably have um, some sort of like keyword thing that, that goes weekly. Yeah. That changes. So, like, so if we talk about current topics, it's probably going to match us with that information. But capital, 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 uh, capital. Uh, uh, election, uh, frogs, uh, frogs, fro frogs, 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 um, uh, inauguration, inauguration, oh inauguration. Oh, yes. Yeah, is that today or tomorrow? That's tomorrow, right? Today, tomorrow. It's the 20th that he gets inaugurated, I think. Two days. What's today? Today's the 18th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess so Wednesday. Wednesday. Wow. That's going to be a thing. That'll be wild. That's going to be a thing. So, um, I did hear that there's what, like 30,000. Uh, is it people from the Marines or National, the Army? I don't National know who Guard. it is. Yeah, yeah. I think it's National so Guard. That's, that's fucking it's wild. It's going to be nuts. nuts. This going to be a wild inauguration. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> My Who's, question is, why do you need that many? Like, Demi Lovato is performing. Can't wait. Is she really? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. You know, she, she actually came up with a song uh, called Commander in Chief, which was talking shit about presidential stuff. <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> I, I, I know it. it's directed directly at Trump, but it's like it's Demi Lovato. So, we so love funny. you. You're still a babe. But yeah. Like, oh God. Could have done um, lay, off the, lay off the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! No, I just stop. want to be healthy because she's so hot. 
She's so hot. We I can't, just want her to be can, okay. Yeah, don't, be okay. Don't get Amy Winehouse, please. Mm, we don't want please. that. You're wait, is she over twenty seven? She's yeah. gotta be because I'm she's our age. Is she? I think. Oh god, yeah. Just she might be a year older. Yeah. Do not be part of the twenty seven club, please. God, we so don't hot. need that. <laughs> um anyways, what, what were we talking about before? Uh, Speaking of Demi Lovato. Oh, the analytics. So, yeah, but for the corn pubs, I didn't look at the analytics this week, but oh, yeah. when I uploaded this week, this last week's episode, mm-hmm. we had topped over 5,500 views. Holy shit, so, really? Yeah. What? So, why are we so popular there? But, I, like, YouTube I'm going to be honest with you. With I don't know why people are why. So, the only crappy part about <laughs> posting on there is I don't have as good of a breakdown. So, like, I can't oh, see yeah. retention rate. I can't see, like, how like I can only see really our views. Yeah, and like if you look at trends, you're, yeah, you're yeah. gonna find you know fisting and and I think I can see popularity porn, so. of certain like like I can see like where like in our videos what the most popular like minute was. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it doesn't give me a breakdown like YouTube does, where I can see okay how long are these people staying on the video and everything. But I do know mm. that like every video. We're getting like 400 views. Well, it's probably a new thing because I'm sure that the rest of their videos, you know, people are only watching for 10, 20 seconds. (laughs) Exactly. There's no retention rate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if these these people are on there watching, if our retention rate is better on Corn Pub than it is on YouTube, I'm going to fucking die. (laughs) YouTube is sadly low. YouTube, our retention rate is like 16, 18%. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean we do have long episodes, though. Yeah, 30 I mean, minute episodes, yeah. I mean, even the 30 minutes, I mean, people are usually only watching for like two minutes two at minutes, a time. Two minutes, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I know when I click on a YouTube video that I know I just want to watch like a few minutes of, it's only going to be like two or three minutes. Yeah. And then exactly. I'll, I'll click off. So, yeah. I don't know. It, it would be hilarious if it, was a, if it was bigger, like on, oh my God, if people were actually fully watching. There's no way, though, because they're not commenting. Yeah. Also, comment on our, <laughs> if you are on Corn Pub right now watching this. <laughs> Please leave a comment. Do Just it. let us know. We're 12 minutes into this episode. Let us know that you're still here watching because I, I would lose it. We I would, would die, fucking honestly. lose it <laughs> if people we were We want to know that you could last. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious Jesus to Christ. know that like we're making money. If you get to 15 minutes, website. I'll show you my nipples. So, oh, yeah. wow. Just kidding. Don't do that. I was going to say, wow. <laughs> a, you know, we are hitting 15 minutes oh, soon. Yeah. So, like, it's a yourself. big commitment there, oh, bud. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. 20 minutes, and I'll show you some peen. <laughs> We're cutting this episode off in 19 minutes. I'm not going a full 20. We're going to have, like, the please stand by <laughs> clip. <laughs> just breaks the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but, yeah, anyways, the, I thought that was kind of crazy that we're still just upping our views on there. Um, our, and, uh, so, like, we hit... So you have like a model profile on there is mm-hmm. what it's called. And that's how you see like your wa- weekly ranking. And every week our weekly ranking goes up. So see, I'm more like curious 30, about like how, how long is it going to take for us to get to number one on, on the corn post? Imagine if we did. Imagine that would the, be the number shit. one verified <laughs> amateur on the pub is a fucking podcast, podcast. that I mean, has nothing to do. To be fair, that would be genius marketing. Oh, my God. That'd be Are fair. you kidding me? <laughs> Hey, Spotify, yeah, you can make a deal with us, but also just know we're number one on this chart, yep. this chart specifically. iTunes, no. And I Spotify, guarantee you no. it pays a lot more. <laughs> YouTube, no. This, this is our platform, oh my God. and we make money off of it. I just want to be able to pay a mortgage with uh, with Corn Pub money. Imagine. So, yeah. Imagine making imagine making a hundred, $10,000. Imagine making money. That'd be great. <laughs> Just in general. We are. I haven't looked at the analytics, but we're making dollars. I mean, yeah, yeah, dollars is fine. I just mean, like, imagine making a living. Just a doing living that. off of it, yeah. <sighs> imagine going solely on that website. I would be the happiest man on the planet if I could just do this full time. Oh, honestly. God. Yeah. If I could do this and my, like, video work, I'd be a totally happy guy. Like, video production and everything. Yeah. Totally. I'm content with that life. Like, I'm happy with what I'm doing now, but if I can have more freedom just to, like, share my opinion and get paid for it. That'd be fantastic. A hundred percent. And just interview interesting people, talk yeah. to interesting people. I think that's, that's what I really want to start doing is start interviewing some really cool people. Because I I, ha- I know really awesome people. That would be great. It's just, you know, we also do this on a Monday. So it's kind of hard to, to balance that with people and plus COVID and stuff. So true. That's the hardest part is yeah. COVID. I mean, we could do we, we did Zoom with uh, with uh, Casper and that worked great. When oh, we yeah. Did that Actually, that was our Casper. last episode that we did together. It was oh, yeah, when we did Casper's interview. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that wasn't just the Jake and Walker show, but like actually, yeah. I, I keep in touch with Casper now. Yeah, we're we're pretty tight. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Out. I like him. I like guy. him a lot. He's doing some big things this yeah, year. He, is. he just got he's got a lot of uh, film auditions and everything he's been into. So I need heck to get yeah. into that. Yeah. 
I want to get into voice acting. Do it. Yeah, I've I've always been interested in doing voice acting because I I do impersonations like all the time, but I just if never, you could like, like had a chance. Like, to what's get your optimal? It. Like, okay, somebody came to you and said, okay, give us your best voice acting. Who would be your go-to character? Oh, you don't God. have to do it, but I have like, no idea. Who would be like your go-to? Like, this is my best impression. Is it an accent? Is it a character that you like <sighs> know? Like, who? Like. I have no idea, honestly, because like I I switch between voices all the time. That I, I have no idea. Like like you've seen me do it. Like yep. I just switch voices, but uh, like I don't know. I don't know who it would be. Maybe like a I don't know, just old person impersonations or yeah. the best. That's but, what, why yeah. is that where my brain went to for I myself? I don't know. It's like so, an old southern black lady. <laughs> that's God. that would be my <laughs> that's that's my immediate yes, voice. Yes, do impression. it. <laughs> Kidding. Next episode. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. All right, my new skill this week is to be is to master that accent. <laughs> Just master a southern black lady's oh, accent. Oh, child. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Doing no. it. God no. Oh, oh man. Luther King that's Day. always what been up? like that's always been something I wanted to try out. Like I feel like getting into like getting into like animation and like cartoony type stuff like that always seems like so much fun. Like the acting aspect yeah, of it. Yeah, it just seems yeah. like like a ton of fun. Like. I don't know how the process completely works, but I, I would love to Why don't you just out. convert your company into animation creation and then we can make our own content. Well, we do have animators on our team, but we don't have enough work for them to really be profitable yet. So it's kind of hard to pay people when you don't have money coming in for that aspect of the business. So like, Pro bono. Let's go. Pro bono. <laughs> Animation's oh. cheap. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot Not of work. Not cheap at all. Oh my God. If you could like, if you could go back, right, and say start at I don't know, 14, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. If you could go back and start working on a skill at that age with the knowledge that you have now, yeah, right. What would be your go to investing? I'd put all my cash into Bitcoin. <laughs> all right, not, all right. No, I mean, um, like an actual, like actual like, skill. Yeah. yeah. Um, like if we had today's current technology, yeah, right. But you were fifteen. I think I would have started coding old. earlier, honestly, because yeah. I. I mean, now I have like a full time position doing this. We have so a family like, friend that, at a young age, yeah. he started doing it, like for he could doing like simple stuff like Xbox hacks and everything yeah. like that. Works for a company down a, a company down in Florida pays him, pays for him to live down there part time. Jesus, his pays for his condo and he just works down there. It's nuts, all because he got he just learned coding at a young age. I mean, I'm learning it by myself right now, and I've already made more in this past like couple months than I have ever. Yeah. So like it's 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 awesome i think i would have done the same like i not I mean, with coding i think i would have worked more on video stuff like yeah. i did video when i was a young kid but i would have invested more you know that's it. actually a good point i feel like i i've always wanted to get into movies because i'm a huge like cinephile i yep. like watching and like analyzing movies and stuff like that but i've always wanted to get into production and like no matter what aspect that that takes form i would love to get into movie production at some yep. point so like I think that's one of my goals. So I think I would have gone back and tried figuring out a way to get into that. So at the on. end of the day, we we're just going to create a movie studio. Yeah. Or we could create a podcast. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. We could take charge. We could be the first people to create podcasts if we went back in time. Like the first We'd person have to, to go do, real far The first back. person to do like a video podcast. That and really I'm takes stealing off. Joe Rogan's uh, template and getting that's that. Fine. How, what was his fucking Spotify deal again? It's like, oh my God. It's like... What was it? It was it was egregious. It was like five hundred million or something, something like, like that. that. It's like it half a billion. Ridiculous. And plus, buyout. he gets paid additional because he he still has like a hundred videos up on YouTube of his yeah. favorite things. So he still gets paid from YouTube. He still has sponsors. Yes. Uh, no, he still has sponsors because yeah, his he videos does. Have yeah, he's got uh, uh, what is that? He's, uh, got like, he's got like twenty of them. First form is a huge one. Not first form. What the hell's the name of them? Uh, he's he's got uh, stamps. dot com. He's got. A whole bunch of crazy things. Uh, alpha I think, Brain. I think makes Hims, fucking Alpha Brain. brain. Who, the, who the hell is that? It's a... Uh, wow. It's going to piss me off. I is it that remember. Alpha X dude? Or no. From it, YouTube? You remember him? Yeah, Alpha X. <laughs> yeah. I remember him. No, With it's... the fucking uh, poofy hair. Yep. No, it's... Uh, God. I did watch him for style tips back in the day. It helped out. Because I was a mess. <sighs> who the heck is it? That's going to piss me off. Anyways, yeah. Alpha Brain, all those guys. Like He's making money off that too. So yeah, I would mm. take his template... But you'd have to like already know interesting people. Yeah, almost like a little astronauts bit. and shit. Or, oh, dude, we should get into comedy. I've, that's another thing that I've never tried, but I've always wanted to give it a shot. I just don't comedy. think I could do stand up. 
I don't think that I'm good at writing content. I feel like I could sit there and roast people because I do that anyways. I would need like, hecklers. I could do like the Andrew Schultz type comedy where you stand up and you just like make fun of the crowd and you just get people to hang out and have fun. I could but. do like a, like a, um, what's the guy that used to, <laughs> fuck, he was in a TV show. Uh, he used to just stand up there and do like, he would have like a white, like a note, giant notepad. And he would draw things on it. Oh shit! Yeah, um, uh, really. Ner- uh, d- uh, Dimitri Martin. Dimitri Martin. Yeah, yes, yeah. I would. Do, I would do something like. Like obviously that fell off kind of quickly, but yeah. I would do something like that. That, that. quirky, dorky humor. Yeah, yeah, but I would just like do something like that. Or uh, the guy with the weird laugh, the English guy with the weird laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! That oh, guy, because yeah. he just does. He just uh, does one-liners. That's all he does. His entire stand-up set is literally him just doing setups for one-liners, and it's perfect. <laughs> you know who has the perfect fucking comedy set? Is the who, Who's the puppet dude? What's his name? Oh, uh, um, uh, Randy? Or is oh, Randy? that guy, the Australian one? Yeah. Randy. Yeah, oh that's Randy. He's fucking hilarious. That is the hilarious. most brilliant comedy set I've ever seen. Because, like, uh, did you ever watch the, the video about like him purchasing, purchasing some, like, the show? Yes. Purchasing the show, yes. Oh my god, I loved that. I lo- that was the first video I ever watched of him Jesus and I showed Drake Christ. it and I was like, this look at this. This I is fucking, fucking hilarious. Died. And then I watched his full set one time yeah. and it, it like at the very beginning he's like, All right, so for the remainder of the show, I know this is a big stage, but for the whole show I will be going from this part of the desk to this, <laughs> this part, part of the desk. <laughs> Anything more and it ruins the show. <laughs> it's just so good. So good. And you're not even like nobody. Nobody just, cares that he's a fucking there's no puppet. Stage fright there's a muppet on stage just telling hand. me jokes. Yeah. Just your fucking hands. Like I, I never thought I would laugh at a muppet telling dick jokes. So you know? good. He's so good. Wasn't there a movie that came out like that? It was uh, Happy Time. Murders. Happy Time Murders. Yeah, I watched it. it was, is it good? It's pretty it's decent. It's yeah. stupid humor. It's oh yeah, decent. that's yeah. fine. I mean, I expect that. It's Melissa that. McCarthy. So, and I, I'm a huge fan of hers. Yeah. So it's it's good. And mm. then like the puppet like. There's a sex scene with the two puppets. It's fucking hilarious. Like it's just like whipped cream. I, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I did see one scene where a uh, a cow is getting a mas- like a massage from a, an octopus. Yeah, that was interesting. Yep, that happens. <laughs> if you watch that movie, it's like the Happy Time Murders. If you watch it, you have to watch the unrated version because if you watch the normal one, it's not good. Like, it's not That's as funny. good. Like, you have to watch Jesus the unrated. Christ. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I would definitely, if I could go back, like video, 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 I'd just hamper down on that. And I would m- focus more on being self-employed hmm. back then. You know, I would, yeah, that would be the goal like, with the video work back then. Because then think about like 11 years mm-hmm. of video work experience and with the mindset of wanting to be self-employed, I'd yeah. be fucking, I'd be miles See, I, I didn't have that entrepreneurial drive until like after I left college, pretty much. And then I was like, oh man, I just don't feel like working for I think I, I think I'm the same. Like college yeah. was like the same aspect where I realized like... This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I think my big, the, so I don't know what, you, oh, okay, that's a fun yep. one. Let's talk about too, like your breakthrough moment of realizing you wanted to be self-employed. Oh, Did you I, have one? I had a job working customer service at a call center, um, and it made me want to jump off a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> I was taking about 300 phone calls a day and sending about 200 emails Gross. every single day, and it's nonstop. The second that you that you hang up on somebody, the next phone call starts. Like it's all day. Um, I fucking hated my life. I was getting paid $14 an hour starting pay for that job, and like my boss was making like $80,000 a year minimum, and it's like this sucks, and there's no growth or opportunity, and like. I realized, wow, every fucking job that I've had has pretty much had the same structure where I was doing all this fucking grunt work for people that are making multiples more. more than yeah. me. And it's like, why am I doing this? Like, this is this is not a lateral move. Like, this is just a, this is like a plateaued move. I'm not going to move up anywhere doing yep. this. So it came to my attention, like, hey, I want to try doing some crazy shit. I'm going to take some risks. Like, I'm going to go out there and try to create something new. And now it expressed into me owning a business. So, Hell yeah. Yeah. I like that. Um, but fuck. So how long ago? How long ago would you say it was that you like had that epiphany? Well, I started my first business in 2015, so I okay. was I was what 21, like turning 21 at the time. And um, so it, that's so weird. Yeah, because I I sold my first business at 21. You were, but um, a year before me. Yeah. When I started my first one. Yeah. That's so weird. Um, but it just it hit me because like I was. I was doing all these side projects and stuff too. Like I, when I was working at the call center, I also uh, was part time working for the uh, Philharmonic here in town. Oh yeah, yeah. And so I created my first business. Yeah, as go kind ahead. Of side like, thing like what that. was your? Like yeah, what was the first? It's called the Maker's Project, and it was this. Um, 
it was this fundraising platform that I was coming up with where pretty much I would book shows for bands and for artists and such like that. Right. And part of the proceeds would go to paying for kids' music lessons or art lessons. So let's say that I have five bands at this venue. Everyone that, that signs on for that show would agree like, hey, we'll give you a portion of our revenue for the show and I can go back and you know pay for you know 10 kids music lessons nice. next week. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a way for like for, it was a way for me to help out the community while also like you know getting more visibility to other people for their, their bands and their music Heck and yeah. stuff. And so, that was the one you sold. Yeah, so that was the one I sold. That was Do you want to drop who you sold it to? Or? Yeah, I can do that. So um, <laughs> That's just cuz I think it's fucking cool. Yeah, so we technically sold it to Viacom which uh, some of you might also know as VH1. Fuck <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it was it was a small deal like it paid it paid Okay, for for what I was doing for your like, first company, yeah, selling I mean, your it, first company is a big. The thing, thing is, it, it wasn't even a, a technical company; it was technically a nonprofit. But like, they wanted to, to sell the process; they wanted to buy the process off me right. for what I was doing, and so they did that. And now they actually still run that program down in LA, so it's, yeah. it's pretty cool to see. That's awesome. Um, but like that really sparked something in me where it's like I want to keep doing that forever. Yep. And so now I just keep coming up with ideas, and I can't seem to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse. It's a. It's it a, is because it's well, like I want to do all this shit, and I but can't. I can't. I have to focus on one. I know it sucks. Um, yeah, I think so. It's it's funny that you like your our timelines seem like pretty dead center with each other. So yeah. for me, it was um, I think I was maybe a little bit before. I I would I would have probably been in college. I mm-hmm. think when I kind of decided that like, my. Um, it might have been a little bit later than college, actually, because I would have went to college in, what, 2012, 2013. Mm. So it would have been a little bit later than that, I think. I probably would have been right around, like, 20, maybe. Okay. Because I had left college. Um, I had come back home, and I have ju- I was just, like, notorious. Like, the, you know, the common rule of, like, hey, make sure you stay for a job for at least one year yeah, on your resume. That. And I, like, I had this... Like at, to, at the time, I thought like curse of like I could not stay at a job yeah. for more than a year because I just got bored. You get bored, right? It's I redundant. was like, I'm done. I've learned what I can learn. There's no upward mobility, yeah. and if there is, it's not high enough upward mobility that like I, it's gonna like I still am gonna know. I'm not, I'm gonna it, I don't. It doesn't require that much more knowledge. Yeah. Like there's not a big gap there. So like I know I'm not gonna entertain the option. I've tried. I've always. It's not that I'm a bad worker. I've. I've always been promoted very, very quickly in any job that I've worked. Like, yeah. very quickly I've been promoted because it's pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Like, you just apply yourself. It's not yeah, hard. if you can get through, like, the mundane yeah, redundancy like, of, a, of a job. And show up. Like, yeah. that's it. That's literally most of the jobs. Yeah. Just Do a up. little bit more than bare minimum, yep. and you fucking have the job. But, like, I just noticed, and and I had, um, I remember, I, who was it? I distinctly remember there was a company that I applied at, and one of the questions that they asked me was, you know, why my resume had such short spans of time in between, mm. like with, you know, with a company, you know, and like, because they want to see you there for yeah, a long term time. They want to see loyalty there. And I, I just flat out, like that was my moment where I was like, Oh, it's cause I get fucking bored and I don't want to work <laughs> for other people. I didn't say it, but I was like, I had to actually, PS, fuck you. <laughs> like I had to actually go home and ask myself like, yeah. why are you like this? Because for the longest time I thought it was like, a bad thing. Right. And then I realized like, no, you just don't want to work for people like you, yeah. that you don't want. I've, I don't want a ceiling. That's exactly I want right. it based completely off of my work yeah. is how high I can go for. And I feel like that's, that's something that's really coming to play right now, especially because uh, we're in a position where everybody's working from home. They're doing all this BS work that people are starting to realize like, wow, I'm working for people and doing all this extra shit and spending all this time away from my kids and like not doing anything. And people are realizing myself. that hey, working from home's fucking great. This is sometimes. dope. I, yeah. can cr- I can do this by myself. I can come up with, with better with ideas with the technology that I have now yeah. and just fucking kill it. Yeah, you know. Um, I think one of the sparked moments at that call center job that I had was I came up with an idea for them to increase efficiency for their email templates or whatever. Or no, it, it was for their their. Uh, Inbound payments or whatever. Yeah. People that, that they needed to get. And like, let me guess. Billing, they were like, fuck yeah, we love that idea. And then never gave you any. Oh, no, 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 no. Even worse. So I presented the idea to their process improvement team, which they had. They had people paid to go in and talk about things that they wanted to make better. And then they just never did it. Oh, sick. Love that. So it's great. Um, so I came up with an entire like booklet pretty much of like, hey, here's all the ideas that I have that you guys can use to improve right. this business. Expecting that. Oh, I'll get some praise for it. They sat me down and wrote me up. Uh, because they were like, yeah, you can't do that for the business. Like, you can't 
present ideas like that without taking it to your direct supervisor who has been there like a year more than I was. And uh, then the direct supervisor has to present the idea to her manager. And then they have to present that to the director of operations. So like, Pretty much, I'd be handing off my project to three different people that would all get credit for this thing that I came up with. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, and so I got written up for going above my fuck call center, my by the manager, way. Hate call my manager's centers. head. So I was so pissed. And that was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm done. Like I, I, I had another person that was that helped me out with that one project, and we were both like, this, this fucking yeah, sucks. fuck that. And I, it's not like like, hey, we need people to work in these places to keep the world running. It's yeah. just like my mindset. I've never. Like I said, for the longest time as a kid, I felt insecure about it because I was like, why am I not, yeah. like, am I just a shitty work? Like, I'm not, like, I know no. I'm getting promoted, I'm not a shitty worker, but like, why am I, like, does everyone get this board? Right. It doesn't seem like it because there's people that have been working at these places for 30 there's, years and There's some fine. people that handle that a lot better than others. Like, yeah. I, I know people that are fine with going and doing the same thing over and over again because yeah. they, they appreciate the redundancy because it's just... You go in, you do the thing, and you can go home. Yep. That's fine. Like, well, and then I'm I not think, saying everybody needs to be a Steve Jobs and right. go change the world, but like... <laughs> You know, have a little personal freedom. Yep. You know, go and do I, what you want to do. I think so. Like for me, so you started your first one, 2015. My first one was 2016 um, that I started Lumberjake, um, and that was my beard oil company that I started. And that was like, that was a. I would say that was a big defining moment. Obviously, yep. it was my first one. Um, it was a learn a big learning process, but it was also like, hey, like with that company, I never felt legitimate. Right. Obviously, I just felt like. I felt almost like a imposter because I'm yeah. like, I'm new to this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making beard oil. Is it, <laughs> I don't know if it's good. If people like it. People yeah. think it's good. People are buying it. And I was making money off of it. But I just was like, what What am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah. So that was like a big moment, though, of like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I might be an imposter, but I love doing this. Yeah. And I want to keep doing it because like, this is my way to freedom. This mm-hmm. right here is my pathway. And whether it's with this company or not. It's like this is the the entryway to the path, and that's that's another thing is that you're never gonna get rich working for other people. Mm-mm. Like that's that's never been a thing. No, unless you're like some some stock broker that has some really good account that or happens re- to take yeah, off. Yeah. You're still making money for other people. Like you're not creating anything for yourself. You're not building a plateau or yeah. building a a platform for yourself to grow. You know, you're just you're coasting along and waiting for paychecks from other people. Yeah, that's just not how that's not how you grow. You know, you have to come up with something new. You got to try to separate yourselves from other people so that way you can scale yourself And you have to up. know that your first attempt is not always going to be your best. Oh, yeah. Att- it'll never be your best attempt. Usually your first attempt will fucking fail. It'll I, fail. I, will guarantee I have that. failed several times and now I've landed where I'm at. Yeah. And I think another, I, I would say <clears throat> probably one of the biggest defining moments that I had to actually like take a step back finally because I just was go, 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 yeah. go. Took a step back for like a second. It was just like, whoa, Mm -hmm. like I can, this is legit. Like I can make this, like this is profitable profitable to a point that this is like crazy for me. And I think that moment was with JD Creations. Mm -hmm. um, And it was the end of like, just kind of towards the end of the year last year um, where I started going over my expenses and profits. And I was like, (laughs) I did like, this was like, I, because even starting JD Creations, yeah. when I first started it, I still I had that imposter mentality of like right. I'm not these other people. Because I always like compared myself. I'm always watching you know tutorials on other videographers stuff right, like that, right. and you go, these guys are fucking amazing. Like these guys are unreal. But I am not these guys, but they've also been doing it for ten years. Right. I just started. You just started in doing this. it. So it's like I had to step away from that. But yeah, looking at my like the clients I've worked for and the the clients I have coming in the future, and mm-hmm. I was just like. Holy fuck! This is like legitimate. Like I, yeah. this can be, it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it was just like, it was a very weird moment for me. It was a very surreal. Like, uh, yeah. uh, it's just yeah. It was like, once you once you get that first invoice paid, it's like yeah, you're, you're hooked for yeah. life. You know, and um, and especially with my first client being as big of a client as they were, and yeah. being a long term client. Whereas most of my clients are just project by project, and right. this one was a long term, big named client, yeah. and I was like. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, I'm legitimized by this now. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> you, you mentioned, um, you mentioned like the, uh, the imposter syndrome. Yeah. Much, and, uh, you know, that, that happens to everybody when they're first starting off a business and such. And like when I first got started doing what I'm doing now with mm-hmm. the de- development stuff, I had no fucking clue all the stuff that went into development processes. I was, I was always just thinking like you write the code and it's done and it's yeah. going to go. 
But then as I got into it, I realized like, wow, like most developers that I know never went to college for it. They, nope. they, they taught Sat themselves, and they did all this shit. Yep. And now I'm just trying to go a step above that where like I am the gateway for people, or not the gateway, but the bridge for developers to come in and have some self-sufficiency where they can just and work on projects. experience. Yeah, exactly. In the, in the field. I mean, I'm, I'm working right now with, uh, with certain tech college around the area that's looking to set up an internship with me. So that well, way. And, that, and that's the, that's the coolest thing about yeah. like, that's what's good about you too. And I, why like your company is going to succeed is because I mean, no matter what company it is, but like you're, what's the best way to put it? Like you, you're looking at your company from both ends, right? Mm-hmm. So you're looking at obviously personal, gain right but you also also utilize you also become like you're like okay how do i make this a facilitator for others as well right to where you're gonna have people that for one you're creating great relationships with because they go oh my god yeah this guy gave me an opportunity to work with him yeah and now like i'm able to work with this company because i have that experience and, and they weren't like the gatekeeper that says oh you have to have two years experience no like, fuck that yeah like, so like that's what's cool about your company is that you're helping facilitate others to grow as well. Yeah. And that's what makes a good company I mean, successful. That's always something I've, I've been trying to focus on. When, when I was running Talkter, we uh, we had this all like this big thing where I wanted at least half my staff to be veterans. So right. that way they can they can come in and they can have some extra work experience and such. Didn't work out with all of them, but it, it worked out with some of them. And the ones that did are now doing really well in other jobs. So it's like they had that work experience. They, they got to put it on their resume where they, they helped a company raise money and do all this yep. other stuff. And it's, it's just kind of cool to see, you know? Yeah, I it's, agree. It's cool to see the progress happen for people. And I've kind of like I've you know taken on that mentality too with, um, like there's I've had several clients that I've worked with where I just di- did it pro bono. I mean, not pro bono, but yeah. I basically I just did it. No, I was like I don't want money for this. I was right. Like, I like your business. I like what you just do. Tell your friends. About it's me. training for we for me for one. It's getting my name out there for two. Mm-hmm. It's me getting you know more um, projects out there for people to see. Right. And I'm just like, cool. If I can help you with your company, I'm here. I'm Especially soft, smaller yeah. companies. Like, fuck yeah, I'm here to help. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, obviously, I, w- I need to get paid. At, you know, from yeah, I can't do that for everybody. Yeah, but at the but same like, point, for so- like, smaller companies that I actually thoroughly enjoy and stuff like that, fuck yeah, like, it might help you out. I I mean, that's exactly that my thing, too. Like, at this point, it's like, you don't, you don't always need the huge client, but if you want to help out your friends or something, still get paid, like, a little bit, but, like, don't, like, don't fucking... Skip out on the little guy as well because yeah, those yeah. guys might might grow. Those they, guys they are will great, help yeah. you scale as well in the near future. And especially because know? like these the big sharks, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they're great and they are a big chunk of change yeah, for you. But, they're but unicorns, for the most part, they're you know? yeah. For <laughs> one, they're unicorns, and for two, like they are mo- for I don't know. Maybe this is the wrong way to say it, but like they are not set in their ways, but their expectations mm-hmm. are more at a minimal scale comparatively yeah, right that's so true. where when you start working with a, say a new company right it's, it's new it's doing good mm-hmm. but the nobody knows their full range of potential yet right right, right. nobody knows that there's no expectations set for that company so mm-hmm. within the next five years that company could all of a sudden be this fucking giant conglomerate that yeah. now you captured it before it became that unicorn right mm-hmm. And you help facilitate them, and so it's reciprocated. Right. Whereas with some of these bigger clients that you get, yeah, you're getting paid a bunch right up front, but their expectation or their growth is maybe not as large in the next five years. Right. And it could be. I mean, some of the, I mean, obviously they have more. Is. They have more wealth to play with, but but it's also just the, fun the, to work. They're not going to the, be. They're not going to be as emotionally connected to the work exactly. that you can complete because they have a million other people in the same position yep. that are going to be doing the same thing. But like. You, you almost feel a little bit more appreciation from the little guy that you help out. Because, oh, yeah, because um, they are so much more like yeah. appreciative of you and your work. Yeah, and watching the work that you provide to them scale their business, that's a huge yep. That's a huge compliment. So Yeah, I love yeah. that. And it's just fun to watch them grow. It's like, oh, like I remember yeah. when you were just like this little guy, and now <laughs> here you are like bringing in client or yeah. bringing in employees and shit, and like you're doing the damn thing. Like it's so much fun to see. I mean, shoot, I helped out one of my neighbors with building a, building a site and getting their social media stuff up and running. They get more clients than I do now. So like it's just yeah. fucking ridiculous. Here to help, like happy like, to help cool. out. <laughs> it's fun. I love it. I'm I'm excited to see this year. So far has been very very good personally and business wise. So I'm excited to see that what this year in total brings because yeah. I think it's gonna be a big one for all of us. Yeah. At least all of us. The four that are in our group, I I foresee very big uh, 
changes Dude. coming this year. Dicks. 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 <laughs> this year. We're all getting we're... dick implants. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm excited. Like with Keith and, and Hard Work Coffee, like, oh I think I'm so the growth potential on that is is just outrageous right <laughs> now. I, I was expecting like, oh, like homemade coffee or whatever. Like, you know, whatever. No, no big deal. This is like a legitimate I tried that shit scale. Was delicious. It's very Holy good coffee. Shit. Yeah, it's... We're not fucking kidding. Like, yeah, we honestly, enjoy this coffee very much. If, like, you, if you guys can, just give him a shout out. Go, mm-hmm. go check him out. Um, I don't think he's got a website. Not yet. yet. But we're, we're working on an Instagram yeah. and a website right mm-hmm. now. But yeah, so yeah, but he did just get the bags in. Like he's official now. Like we're able to sell and everything so like exciting. that too. So, so yeah, if you guys guy. want to buy hard work coffee, just let me know. Hit me up on you know either on our Facebook or yeah. YouTube, whatever you want to do. Let me know, and I can definitely um, we can get you a bag. You know of whatever. Um, That'd be great. The Bali Blue Moon, fucking delicious. That's Is that the one that we had here? That's the first oh, roast he did. Shit. That one's delicious. But the new one he just came out with, and I haven't tried it yet. He just gave me a bag the other day. I got to try that one. Um, he seems pretty happy with that, too. So I, w- I want to try that. And he's going to do all kinds of fun stuff in the future, yeah. flavors and everything like that. So it should be a good time. But yeah, his I mean, his company, that huge, huge, huge potential this year for that. Yeah, I'm um, really excited about that. I mean, we've already got him hooked up with hopefully some bigger people that would help out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your company's already fucking last year skyrocketed, so this oh year's God. gonna Just double. So much work now. Like, like, oh. it, it went from having like no work for a couple months to being like, I have too many projects. Yeah, <laughs> which is a good problem to have. Yeah. So, so I mean, yours is already uh, on the up and up, and is gonna stay on the oh, thanks, right man. track this year. I can Appreciate guarantee. Um, JD Creations. I I've, I've gotten a couple. I've been in touch with people recently this yeah. year that. Um, are going to should bring in some good quality work. Um, I've signed on another long term deal, which is awesome. So definitely growth in that way. And yeah. even just skill growth. Like uh, my big thing is just working on providing the most quality that I can out of the video yeah. productions and everything. Um, we should work together to uh, build movie trailers for people. Oh, God, I would still be about <laughs> it. I would build <laughs> the cool fuck job. out of movie trailers for people. <laughs> um, I also signed up on Fiverr just to help out with people's logo reveals and shit like that because it's such an See, easy job for I, me to do. And it's I like, tried the Fiverr thing, but I just... I don't know. I feel like I always get like I always get shit on with the freelance stuff like that. Yeah, you know, like, for me it's just like fuck it. If people you are like, oh, I want it. you to build this website for like twenty bucks, and it's like, no, no, no. no. See, do. logo reveals are easy for me because once I have one template created, mm-hmm. I just market that template. Oh, okay. and throw their stuff in there, that's and then perfect. you know, light editing in After Effects, and that's it. So it's like mm-hmm. it's easy for me. People get a good quality logo, right. and I can just be on my merry way. It's just extra side cash, you know. That's true. Because um, once you have once you have a system, it's pretty much good to go. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, so smart. yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Um, but yeah, I I'm just excited for 2021. I knew coming into this year that it was gonna be a pretty big year for everybody yeah. in our group, and I was like, yeah, this is good. And everybody's <laughs> on that right track. That it's like, holy fuck, you know, by the end of this year. Three of us could easily be, compl- I mean, one of us, you're already self-employed. I mean, mm-hmm. you're completely self-employed, right? So yep. we're hoping by the end of this year that <laughs> two others join that track. Yeah, I'm hoping so. And then eventually we'll bring, we're going to fucking snag Drake from his job. <laughs> He's and working me- for one of us eventually. <laughs> that motherfucker's working for one of us. In the meantime, join us on Patreon. <laughs> yeah, join us on Patreon. We're making money, not that much money. Join us on Patreon. Um, but yeah, so it's exciting. I'm excited. It's yeah. going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year for the podcast. Oh man. COVID's going to fucking end. And then we're going to have a lot. Actually, no, keep, keep COVID going. Cause you guys are all stuck at home. Yeah, so that's you true. You guys watch. have to fucking watch this. Can't fuckers. watch us at work. Yeah. You're going to be sitting at home <laughs> listening to us in the back. I do know people that listen to us in the background yep. while they're working and I'm, I'm about it. I'm here I'm for cool it. With it so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be so much fun, especially once we start to have more freedom with our companies yeah. that we can have more time to work on stuff. We can, you know bring in more ideas for this right. because really i mean even though this is a hobby for us it's a fun hobby we all enjoy it and the more freedom we get the more we're able to kind of do fun shit with this yeah, right you know I mean? yeah. but we're not strapped down at a nine to five job with our with, with an employer where it's more flexible with our own hours yeah there's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> stuff that we're gonna be able to do in the future so as long as i can uh, pay for my power and my heat then I'm that's good. all that really matters. Yeah, I just so. need to be able to buy a house. I'm good. Yep. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> buy so and support the house, and then I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll end this episode here. Uh, it's like forty some minutes, so we'll end this one. It was a good episode. It's fun. Yeah, it is. How uh, did I know before we started though that it was going business route? I just knew because it, yeah, it's me and you, and I just was like, this is taking business. a business yeah. route, and I knew it. Well, but. we had a conversation earlier too, and that just kind of rambled off. So. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. So, 
Um, but, uh, you know us. So. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, this episode is brought to you by Hard Work Coffee. Check them out. They're coming soon. If you want a bag, come let me know. Just hit me up. I'll get you some. Uh, we'll drop it off in your car window. And yeah. You, you just slide yeah, us to 20. Yeah. Just like, just like a drug deal. Like old school days. Um, th- <laughs> also brought to you by JD Creations LLC. You want to make your own podcast, make your own YouTube channel, promo videos, advertisements, just basic video editing. Anything you need, let me know. Hit me up on Facebook or on Instagram or a website coming soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me know what you need and we'll be happy to help out also brought to you by astrodesigncompany.com be sure to check us out at astrodesigncompany.com we will try to get you a little discount depending on the website that you have uh we also do stuff like animation 3d rendering uh commercial or we're, we're trying to get into commercial sites and apps and that kind of stuff and then uh, mobile apps as well Heck so yeah. that's what i like to hear think. Next week, yeah uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on our youtube channel hit it don't quit it hit it past to your friends press press pass that subscribe button hide your kids hide your wives because we out here making great t- content kids uh, check us out on the Corn Pub. Leave us a comment on Corn Pub because it's just fucking hilarious. Please, at please this leave point. us a con- uh, God comment. God damn it, on leave us a comment on Corn, corn Pub. Pub. It's so it. fucking good. I love it. Um, check out Thirst Thomas on YouTube. Check out Johnny Wishbone on YouTube. And other than that, folks, we shall see you next week. Bye bye. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye. Fuck out of bye here. Now. Bye now. Bye. Go away. Bye everybody. <laughs> What I got? You won't <laughs> let me under him. <laughs>